Hi there, Bob Wormsley here from Insidium. This is Top Tip Tuesday. And on today's top tip, we're looking at how we can use the MoGraph matrix object as custom attraction points for particles. We can attract particles to the matrix points, but we can also animate those using effectors and all the other MoGraph tools. It's quite a powerful technique. Let's get that clock started. In our scene, we have this text spline with X from Nexus. And what we're doing is we're emitting particles from the edge of that. Let's go to the emitter object tab. We're in object emitter shape. We've got the text spline dragged in. We're emitting from the edges. And then the emission tab, we're on rate mode, 150 lifespan, 2000 per second birth rate this time and we have a speed of zero radius of three we've also got a spline in the middle of our text spline let's make it visible and you can see it's a very basic spline you can spend a lot more time making it more pretty than this but we have made a closed spline and inside of this closed spline we have uniform intermediate points of 100 and I'll show you that a little bit later so let's just get our simulation going at the moment nothing is happening with these particles they're static let's get them to interact with each other we're going to bring in an NX push and change it from absolute to particle radius mode turn it up quite a few iterations and now as those particles are born they're going to push each other apart yep yeah, that's looking good we also want these to scale up and down over time. So to do that, we're going to get a scale modifier. Now, this needs to be below the push uh, for it to work. This order is important. In the NX scale, we're going to do the operation of set value, which is going to set the radius. We're going to put it to 3, just like it was in the emitter. But then we're going to map this to the particle age. So let's go to the mapping. We'll add an age map. And we want the parameter we want to map is the radius value. We're going to map it over the age of the particles from when they're zero frames old until when they're, let's say, 80. And what we're going to do, look, let's get this knot and drag this down. We're going to hold control, click, create a knot, bring it up. And what this is going to do is particles will be born with zero radius. They'll very quickly grow up to their full size of three centimeters, and then they'll gradually get smaller over time until they're 80 frames old um, let's just pull that down a bit so if we hit play you're going to see them scaling up and then scaling down but actually they snap on at three centimeters then scale down then scale up and that is because in our xp emitter emission tab we need to put this radius down to zero and let the nx scale do all of the work okay so now we have them scaling up pushing apart scaling down cool and even that in its own right we're getting this nice kind of um self-feeding system which looks pretty cool okay we're going to bring some more um, forces into this so we're going to bring an nx attract into this let's put this below our scale now in the default mode these particles are just going to be attracted towards this target look and wherever we move the attract target the particles will follow and you can get some pretty cool effects with that it looks uh, really nice and dynamic but it's not going to work for us what we're going to do is we're going to use the NX Attract in object mode. Um, and we can put our objects in here. But I'm going to show you a trick that is um, a little underutilized. Let's just make the visible in editor off so we don't see the target. We're going to use the MoGraph matrix object to create matrices on this inner spline that we made. So let's go to MoGraph matrix here it is here's the default grid of those matrix points but in the matrix object we can change it from the default grid to object and we're going to drag in our spline which is this, this inner spline that we drew let's drag it in here and now it's created these matrix points on that spline and we can increase the amount of points or decrease the amount of points and the cool thing about this is it, with the rate, if we put this rate on, say, 2% and hit play, let's just switch the emitter off, you'll see that they kind of move their way around that spline. Okay, this is the cool thing. In our NX Attract, if we put our matrix object in here, it will see these as different objects. And every particle is going to get attracted to its nearest matrix point. So let's hit play, put on our emitter. So now it's a little bit wild because our attraction is so strong, but we're starting to see the effect. Let's go to the Attract Object tab, and let's put the acceleration down to 100. 
and let's put a really heavy speed limit on this of say 25 yes cool so now we can see the effect taking place these particles are attracted to this one until this one becomes the closest one and we're getting this quite nice um dynamic kind of regular but also random animation let's just make our matrices invisible so if we go to our matrix object and make this very few just put say seven we're going to get this really nice if you follow these ones look they're being attracted to this matrix point and then they found another one that's closer so they're going in the different direction and we get this really cool kind of waving pulsing of our particle animation or we can go really high with that matrix uh, matrix uh, count and then we can get these really obvious kind of defined um uh, attracted particle spikes cool i like it on that low setting with not very many then obviously you can add more forces into this should you wish let's make that spline invisible um, let's bring in an nx turbulence we'll put that right down at the bottom and we'll put the turbulence on let's put it on borrow noise bit of strength reduce the scale and now we have got them obviously being attracted to those matrix points still but the turbulent is making the waft around a little bit more uh, let's just reduce that turbulent strength a bit so that is how we can use the attract uh, modifier in nexus using the matrix objects this is obviously just one example but the matrix objects really versatile you can get these matrices spawned on the vertex of objects or spline on the surface of, uh, of objects you can use um, effectors to animate them there's loads you can do and it gives you some really nice cool particle effects in conjunction with the nexus attract modifier